Mumbai Karachi Friendship Forum. Uh, I am part of a team which has uh, embarked on a very important research project uh, for, for both sides. For, for It is equally important for, for us in India as it is for, for people in Pakistan. And that, my friends, is the issue of the fishermen uh, which, who get arrested almost every other day uh, from the contested waters uh, that we share of the Arabian Sea. And, and like you know, this is such a vexed problem that I'll, I'll give you a context. Like you know, when you talk about our, our uh, actual land boundaries, there is always some kind of a contest that we uh, game uh, match off that always happens. But so is the case with also of our maritime boundary. But everything is quite blurred. Uh, it is always contested. And the, one of the the weakest uh, fall guys, I would say, uh, in, in the larger political game that is always there between India and Pakistan are these very poor and very illiterate fishermen of both countries. Uh, on any given day, you would find around 400 plus uh, fishermen from India who are languishing in, in Pakistan, in Pakistani jail. They are all kept together in one place called Landi Jail in Karachi. Uh, we have interacted with a lot of pe uh, fishermen who have come very recently after the release from Pakistan. And likewise, at any given point of time, we have quite a sizable number of Pakistani fishermen who are arrested and kept in Gujarat jails uh, in India. Uh, the point is that when we talk about this issue from a bilateral viewpoint, then I think the solution will be quite, a, quite an endless thing. Like, right, it will be very hard to be, to be achieved. Because whatever positions that our respective government will take on the issue will, will not change, uh, irrespective of what research we do. But the point is that you need to look at this particular aspect of the India-Pakistan relationship from a purely humanitarian point of view. Because the sufferers are absolute destitutes. Every person who is arrested, every fisherman who is arrested, every boat that is captured leaves behind in both countries a tale of devastated families. And, and this is something that at least all the like-minded people in, in, in India must come together to, uh, to force the governments to find some, some solution, irrespective of what happens across the border almost every other, other day. Uh, so this is something that we are planning to we'll wrap up by, by September end. And our idea is to place this report uh, with the highest people, uh, officers in the government of India as well as in Pakistan. Because what we think is that uh, uh, when, we uh, when Pakistan hosts uh, the next SARC summit in November, uh, even if we can like, you know, try and find some mention in the overall declaration, de declaration that comes out of it, uh, that maybe they will consider some regional solution. Because for India, it is we are like, you know, having a problem with every other neighbor that we have. We have the same problem, uh, in a sense, with, with Bangladesh, with Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, at least the good thing is that the government in Sri Lanka, in, 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 in TN, is, is always so vocal about it that every time, like, you know, two fishermen are arrested, they bring parliament and uh, disrupt the Lok Sabha. But the state of Gujarat, where, from where most of these fishermen get arrested, have hardly any voice in the parliament and nobody even gives a damn about what happens to them. Uh, so, in this uh, research, I am guided uh, by my colleague uh, uh, Jatin Desai, who is no stranger to any one of us out here. A veteran journalist and who has spent almost two decades of his life for this very good cause of India-Pakistan friendship. So that's about it. And Sumed and Kashesh are also part of this team. Thank you, Dawad.